cows have been used as biological pest control agents of rodents in agriculture in Israel for years. Instead of using rodenticides, farmers use barn owls which hunt and kill rodent pests. As it turns out, there's a similar biological pest control project in Florida led by the University of Florida in the Everglades agricultural areas. To date, there was never any sharing of knowledge between the two projects. With funding from the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv, I flew to the U.S. The main goal was to learn from one another and to build from each other's experiences. My hosts, Dr. Richard Raid and Ann Hartman, were amazing hosts, and it was clear their project is a huge success. Well, Dr. Raid, after he got the program going in our sugarcane growing area, we had up to 600 boxes throughout the sugarcane area. We had three rodenticide sellers who quit selling it because nobody needed them anymore because the, the owl program was so successful in eliminating damage. Our sugar mill even would go around and rate the fields on a scale of rat damage. And fields like mine, we had no rat damage. And uh, the farmers who didn't have owl boxes had rat damage. So we know it was working. During the trip, I was very lucky to participate in their education and outreach program. What do you know about barn owls? you know anything about barn owls? Okay. So, as most of you know, the barn owl program began as a biological rodent control. But we found a secondary use with the owl pellets and box building. So we were able to take that into multiple schools in Florida and um, get the children to participate in the program with us. So it also gives them a sense of ownership and pride in the program. Um, not only that, but we also send owl pellets throughout the state um, and into other states as well. So Dr. Red collects all of these in the EAA and they're all um, dried out and then sterilized so that they're safe for the kids. And so um, we're able to get some school children and also 4-H groups, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and uh, get their assistance to help us build barn owl boxes, which then become part of our program. And so um, they are an effective part of that. And um, they go out and are project lines. Uh, in the most recent case, we put 120 up, and that was helped through some of the school children from Palm Beach County. During my trip to the U.S., I had the opportunity to give four lectures, two of which were for farmers and the general public, and two other ones, which were my favorite, were for students. We presented both the Israeli and the American Barn Owl Pest Control Project in the Florida State Fair. Close to 300 children learned how barn owls assist farmers. Even though this is the start of our cooperation, I'm really excited. The sky is truly the limit.